Yo, what up? It's Rico, and today I play three random itch.io games that happen to be so good that you will definitely regret not playing them. Okay, maybe not the second game because it's only a demo, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So no more talking. Let's play these games, bruh. First game we got is called Buckshot Roulette by Mike Club Nika. I'm hope I pronounce your name right, bruh, bruh. It's making a little bit of waves on YouTube, and it's on the front page of Ichio, so I'm expecting this to be good. Let's read the description for it real quick. Buckshot Roulette is a tabletop horror game that attempts to redesign the infamous game of Russian Roulette, replacing the traditional revolver with a proper 12-gauge pump-action shotgun. This extra firepower, and more importantly, the different mechanics in handling a shotgun compared to the revolver offers a fresh take on the classic and deadly game of chance. This game takes place at the top of an underground nightclub where the metal railings tremble to the pulse of long lost drum machines. A crooked AI dealer is waiting for you. Will you meet them? With all that out the way, let's gamble. I guess we interact with him, right? No? Alright. Please sign the waiver. Bro, you are about ugly as hell. Alright. One live... Wait, one live round? Insert the shells in an unknown order. I didn't even get to read that box. Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. Okay. So. Hmm. Me. Let's go. Ooh. I didn't die. Alright, let's shoot you this time. Are you serious? Oh, now he- Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> he brought me back to life. Three live rounds, two blanks. Okay, I get it now. They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. I'm shooting you, you bitch-ass nigga. Fuck you. Oh my, of course it's a freaking blank. I'm dead. Oh, he chose the- Oh, wow. Yeah. Stupid. He didn't even die. I died. How did he not die? I'm going with you again, bitch. Yeah, stupid. Yes, sir. Wait, round two. Let's make this a little more interesting. Two items each. More items before every load. Alright, we got a can. Maybe that's some beer. I don't know. We got another beer. Okay. What you get? We got four. One live round, one blank. And he gets to choose first. Oh, no. I get to choose first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say the first one is real. I'm going to shoot that shit right in your face. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, that other one's a blank, buddy. I don't even know why you did that. A magnifying glass. General release of liability. Why he put that back though? Is that a knife? What the hell am I supposed to be doing with these items? Two live rounds, two blanks. I'm gonna. I already know the first one is gonna be a blank. Wait, hold on. Okay. Check the current round in the chamber. Oh really? Handsaw. Shotgun deals two damage. Oh. Let's use the magnifying glass. Oh, okay, it's a live round. You fool. Bye bye! Boo! What the hell is. What the hell? Oh, 
How does that make any bit of sense? Idiot. I don't get to do anything. For how long? Oh. So I'm dead. <laughs> My luck is insane. Hold on. Bro really tried to end me. Okay. Since we, since we gonna do that. How about I make it do a bit more damage too? And you already know. Say goodbye. Fuck. Oh my god. Let me get another magnifying glass, bro. Uh, sure. Okay, we got another, uh, beer. Shoot a dealer. I'm dead. I'm so dead. He's gonna have a live round in it. Oh, yourself? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> bro, you're so stupid. I think this is gonna be a blank. Let's do me. I'm dead, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I was about to see what's in there, buddy. Oh yeah, you're dead. Got me this buckshot. Right here for you. Woo! Word to Corey, buckshot. Hey, hey. What is this? This the last round, what are we doing? Long, last we arrive at the final showdown. Okay, yeah, it's the last round. No more defibrillators, no more blood transfusions. Now me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. Bro, who does he think he is talking to me like that? Um, you know the drill. Let's just use the magnifying glass off rip, why not? It's a blink, I'm shooting that at myself. No fear in my heart. I shoot the dealer. Bye bye. Oh my god. So I'm dead. Let's see, bro. Waste no time. Let me see. Okay. This one's okay. This one's a blank. The next one has to be a real shot, bro. Uh, and you know what? Because I know it's finna be a real shot, I'm finna hit him with this extra damage. Say goodnight. Say goodbye. Well, I tried. This nigga's locking me up. Oh my, I'm dead. You shot yourself? Oh, you're an idiot. Oh no, nah, this nigga's, this nigga's weird. So I'm dead. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you're cooked. You're cooked, you're cooked. First of all, This nigga, okay, that nigga willingly put those on. He, this nigga's, this nigga's weird. But, <laughs> you're dead. See you later. Two damage. Oh, he looks kind of sad. I didn't kill him. Oh, I'm about to get destroyed. He's, he's finna destroy me. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that's crazy. Are you ready? No. Bro, this AI is too smart, bro. Say goodnight, bro. Even though you gonna come right back and you gonna kill me. Hopefully the next one's a blank and he tries to shoot me with it. He finna saw that. Oh my God, this nigga's looking. Oh, I'm dead. He's sawing off the shotgun. And he's smoking just because? This nigga's crazy. He's weird. This is not heaven. You are dead. Yeah, I could tell. 20 minutes later. Say goodbye. He's got a cigarette. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm the one living. Look at my health. Look at your health, bro. I don't think that does anything. 
That doesn't do anything, buddy. You're cooked. He does have a bunch of handcuffs, though. Oh. <laughs> How much money we get? What we getting? Ooh. Would y'all do this IRL? I'm not gonna lie. No, this is too dangerous. The thing is too, those weren't even 64,000. No, it's, that's way too risky, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You would literally have to give me like the most amount of money in the world to try that, bro, because if I almost die over 64,000, bro, that's insane. The game just closes. Is there any way, like, if I open this up, I can choose my name again or no? I want to see what happens if you uh, make your name either God or the dealer. Oh, you actually can't put... You can't like put that in. It doesn't let you. That's crazy. Let's do God. It doesn't let you put that in either. You can't put in either one. Nah, this game is good, bro. The visual art style is crazy unique. It definitely complements the atmosphere and gameplay. Speaking of atmosphere and gameplay, the atmosphere is heavy, tense, and just nasty feeling in the best way possible. The gameplay is pretty simple, but super tension filled. The AI is so well programmed, it really almost feels like you're playing against a real player that makes extremely logical decisions. OST is decent. Overall, the game is just dumb fun. It actually does have a lot of replayability. The game is only $1.20, I definitely recommend. Next game is a demo called Excuse Me Sir by Airdorf and Torpo Duke. I'm not too familiar with Torpo Duke, but I am hip to Airdorf. They created one of the most insane horror game series, Faith the Unholy Trinity. So if you know, you know. Let's read this description. Excuse Me Sir is a point and click adventure game featuring content creator Molly Moon. Her world is creepy, surreal, and if you're not careful, deadly. Can you solve the mystery of your missing brother or will Molly lure you to your doom? So let's check this demo out. All right, uh, let's start it. Me, my brother went missing a few days ago. I hope whoever lives here can help me find him. Oh, here somebody comes now. Hey, who are you? Uh, wh what did I just say? I said something about finding my brother. Yeah, have you seen my brother? Let's ask, uh, have you seen my brother? Jack items to and from the inventory to collect or use them. Have you seen this man? George Fly, age 29, height 5'9", weight 148. Please, information needed, call local sheriff's office if you've seen him. He looks familiar. Let's go inside and ask my friend. Why do you want me to go inside? Why don't you go inside? Let me tell them you're here. Why did your fit change? Let me tell them Meet you're here. Yourself at home. Okay. I'm not gonna hold you. Um <laughs> I would not be in this woman's house right now. Yeah, we're making ourselves at home real nice. I ain't gonna lie, what is your fridge? You got some meat. What is that? What's in that Ziploc, bro? Yo, yo, this is a weak ass fridge, bro. Oh, nah. Uh, what's in here? Oh my God, this fridge is so weak. That boy Queso would be so angry at this. What's over here? Where am I? Screwdriver, I'll take that. Thank you for the screwdriver. The door is locked. We're using this on it. Okay, I can't. I cannot use a screwdriver. Great. Uh, in the basement. I ain't gonna lie, you Bowling. just. You, you kind of startled me a little bit. Great, they're in the basement. Bro, what what are we doing? Go ahead. I'll meet you down there. 
I ain't gonna lie. I'm bra I'm jumping out the window, bro. There's just no way. Go ahead, I'll meet you Don't down there. Worry. I'll call the sheriff. I'm finna find my brother down here. What have you done to my brother? I don't wanna do it. But we're gonna do it, I guess. I'm finna find my bro. Greetings. We've been expecting you. I'm dead. I can't even run away, bro. Are you gonna be able to run away from a, something, something like this, bro? I don't think you can. I think you little, you're dead, bro. He's gonna like somehow like put a, a, a curse on you and you're gonna die as soon as you walk out the door, bro. We're dead. I mean, there's just like no point in asking, have you seen my brother? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's ask. I don't believe I have. We could ask the other members if they have though. Pull this nigga in the eye with a screwdriver. But first, we must pray. Follow me. As our newest member, you'll have to perform the prayer. Trace the outline on the floor. Yo, what happens if I get outside the lines? Are you gonna kill me? By the way, uh, Molly, that uh, that suit looked really uh, I don't know what's the word, kind of inappropriate. Don't you think you need, need to have some more clothes on or something? What you doing with that fit on? Like, really, I'm just chatting right now because I really don't know what the hell is gonna happen right now to me, bro. Like, what the f what what do they got me doing? Am I finna die? I'm finna die, aren't I? Good. Now, you'll need to make a sacrifice. Did it work? You idiot. I didn't do it right? You did it wrong. Roar. Time to go. Uh, yeah, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, guess we're... Wait, what? Oh. Uh... What the... Where do I go? Why am I hiding? I'm dead. You died. Ending two of three. Molly found you. Wait, we... Oh, it just puts you right back here? Oh, that's nice. I don't have to start the game all the way over to see the other endings. was too close. I need to find a way out of here. Uh, what about... What the hell? What the hell is this? Go back, bro. Go back, go back. What is over here? This is a terrible hiding spot. did not see any other outcome happening right there open the mirror go in the tunnel go deeper into the tunnel go even deeper into the tunnel go even deeper even deeper even oh this game was a lot more tame than i thought it was gonna be this demo is pretty promising i really like the visual presentation and tone of the game it gives you a pretty uneasy feeling while playing it in the same sentence though, the game seems like it doesn't take itself too seriously. There are points in the game where it was just goofy as hell, which I liked 
quite a bit. Molly herself isn't the most fleshed out character, but I mean, this is only a demo, so we probably will get more Molly lore in the full game. The OST, when there is any music playing at all, is pretty good. Overall, I like the demo. You should definitely keep an eye out for when the game fully releases. Last game we got here is Bury the Hatchet by quite a lot of people. Fun fact about this game is that I heard about it through my friend Spart. He made a great video mentioning this game, so go check it out. Let's peep this description. It's Halloween 1990X and you killed someone during your morning shift. Honestly, it's inconvenient. The job was imperfect, sure, but you got to wear a mask with no questions asked and the pay was livable. But now you have to keep the body in the back rooms till your shift is over. Bummer. You're the absolutely wicked and awesome bear water grizzly killer, aren't you? And now enters the dreaded true crime fan. A game about hiding things. This one's a long one, so grab your snacks and let's play this game, bruh. Oh yeah, and my reading level while playing this game was lower than a third grader, so forgive me in advance. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's just begin. This game includes the depictions of the following. Um, excuse me? Excuse me. Can you not hear me with that mask on? I'll just take it off for you then. No, I hear you just fine. Then you could at least show some sort of reaction. Like I'm ready to serve you, master, or something. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really need that drink. I can see you right behind you on that self, so be a pal and get it for me, KK. Man, it's too early for this. Are we a butcher, bro? Which character are we? Interact with the shelf behind you using Z or enter. Okay, we are the bear. The legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying you just to look at it. Actually, pick it up for me, okay? Just go on and grab it, okay? The beer, right? You got beer. Here's your beer, man. Oh my god! Yay! This isn't it. This isn't the special collaboration beer with the idol Miracle Shine. Ma'am, I just got you the one you were pointing at. You just want me to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of this horrid world, I'm cursed to live in. So get on with it then. Checking you out? Of course, ma'am. I me mean, get on with checking in the back. Find me my actual beer already. It's surely in there, right? It's a magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is also is in there as well. Besides, you can't show up to a college party without it, haha. Sure, ma'am. I'll go check. Did y'all hear that in the OST? Was that Squidward's scream? Here's that so-called magical bathroom. I should at least pretend to check around so she doesn't lose her mind when I come back. I was about to say like, what's up with the like get up? Like, why we got blood on our apron? Are we like a butcher or something? But no, obviously we already did the deed. Well, what do you know? Guess it was here all along. Funny, I didn't notice it beforehand. Special edition beer. So we killed this this female. Um, R.I.P. Further back, there's more storage. I don't need to go back there right now. All right, you gotta tell me, is there a smiley face on the ground, bro? Come on, bro. Here's your beer. Get out of my store. There it is. Finally, after five gazillion years, any longer, and I have called you for your manager. And you would hate that, wouldn't you? It's not as if he cares most of the time, but him coming in today would be not ideal. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. Now that'll round up to payment. I know, I know. Don't worry, pleb. Keep the change. She didn't even pay enough. Well, better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. Is she gonna come in the back and be like, Oh, I, I, um, I didn't give you all your money. Why do we kill this cheerleader? Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Keeping you here wouldn't be my first choice normally, but you're going to need to wait after till after my shift. Shift. For now, that'll do. I for six more hours of the her. This mask is good. Fuck it, I'll just pa. There we go. 
Got some dust stuck up in there or something. Oh. My. God. Guess she needs to die. You killed Courtney. This sucks. Two of them. Two bodies that I need to store in the back room. And you got that scar on your face. I don't think anyone in, is in the store right now. So if I'm quick about it, I should be fine. Then that must mean... Alrighty, here goes. The absolutely wicked and awesome bear water grizzly killer. Aren't you? I'm like your number one fan. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't even like a voice crack. My voice just went like... I don't even know. My voice just went in a whole different direction. I mean, okay. Hellspawn underscore 32 claims he's your biggest fan because he actually went to the site of your first murder. You actually laid the claim, but I'm calling you, but I'm calling bull on that one. And now I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever parasocial lunacy he's on. Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes that the trade, the trailer park killings weren't on you. Cause look, cause like, look, see, give me a sec. As we can see from one of the first newspaper clippings in the event, the cuts weren't all crisscross, and that's your whole thing. Can't make your debut debut without your signature preparate prepared, right? Oh my god, I'm sorry, yo. This is a visual novel. I'm finna be I'm finna be mispronouncing and, and, and folding all, all, all folding all over my words, bro. No, those were me. Huh? Really? Damn it. If he doesn't know he won the bet, I don't owe him anything, right? I okay, never mind that. Listen, good. I am not a kid. I am 21 years old young. Oh, fair. Thank God. I ain't gonna lie. Because this character design, I mean, she's kind of bad. I'm gonna I'm keep it a bean. She's kind of bad. What y'all think, chat? Which is a thing that old people say once they're de trying to deny the fact that they're so old. So I must be old. Hehe. <laughs> My name. Oh, yeah. I'm Pearl. I'm literally the biggest. It's literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. So you're not going to sell me out? Huh? Are you for real silly? I mean, sorry, but why the hell did I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. At least I think I am. You've got the right scars, but Courtney's body doesn't seem to be all hatched. In fact, it seems way more knife stabbed. Did I, I didn't get the wrong guy, did I? No, it's still be. Okay, yay! FYI, I'm the creator of your Geocities fan page. And it's all me. If you are curious. I'm not exactly a coder, so paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. Okay, whatever. Just give me a second to think about this. Oh, uh, of course, of course. Yeah, you can live. Oh my god, yay! I mean, if you wanted to kill me, would definitely be the best way to go out. My only request would be that you don't hide my body so that I'm on the news, but I can stay alive, VP. I got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Courtney? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing that I was the one who wandered in here, but if you're not careful, someone else will get a nice eyeful of her. And I am, you know, not like the other girls. <laughs> so they wouldn't have the same reaction as me. I agree. That's why I... Um, you mean we, right? Please, let me hide the body. Please, 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 please. No. Please, 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 please. Kid, I don't have the time for... I'm not a kid. Whatever. Listen. I understand the woes of modern capitalism. You can't do your shift and hide a body at the same time, right? Two people are better than one. The more people evolve, the more tongues that might wag. I've never heard that saying before a day in my life. Come on, you think I'd rat you out? Really? You won't brag on some forum that you helped me hide a body? That's what I thought. Is there anyone actually working here? Hello? 
Might as well walk off with all this stuff then. Please, 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 please. At least let me mop up the blood, please. Okay, fine. Just. Okay, rock on this. This floor will be clean as a whistle when you get uh, when you come back. Obviously, she needs to die, but later rather than sooner. She's useful for now, and I'm on the clock. If only killing people paid better. Um, hello. I need help here, please. Oh, you're coming. Oh, it's a little kid. Hey, give us all your money. We're not afraid to put up a fight. Come on, open the cash register. What will you do if I don't? Well, uh, we'll beat you up. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this big ass nigga, good luck trying to beat this big ass nigga up. Oh, uh, you're, you're too intimidating and you have a mask too. It's no fair. Get us an energy drink to even out the odds. I can't be bothered with argu arguing with children. You're about to be tunned by the customer's patience. You need to find out what the customer wants and there are tons. Six of different places that item could be behind the counter, sure, but under the counter as well, or in the shelves. If you're stuck, you can look at the little list you made in your key items to remember where to check. As always, working in customer service, there is the dreaded threat of let me talk to your manager. And in this situation, you do not have the trump card of being your own manager. If you, if your manager gets called, he's going to come down and discover the body you've hidden in the back room. This is unideal, so make sure you serve everyone quickly. Ready and go. Well, hold on. What did he need? I don't remember. I don't remember what he needed. How do I look at the list? 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 How do I look at the list, right? I'm cooked. I'm cooked. What did he want? I don't even remember what bro wanted. Oh no, you're going to beat us up or call the police. No, I definitely won't be doing that. We're going to call the manager. We're going to call the manager on you for attacking kids. We're good on our phones. This is how you can still win. I don't remember how do you check the phone. Oh my. Wait, I gotta, I gotta do all that over here. An energy drink. If you're stuck, you can look at the little list you made in your key items to remember where to check. Behind the counter, under the counter, under the magazine shelf, snack shelf, car shelf, and drinks. Drinks. Got your drink, little man. Here you go. Wanna try beating me up now? You're too scary. Bye bye. On that note. I need some sort of way to talk to you while you're out front. You have a walkie talkie or something we can use? Just slide it right under the door. One of these little big for under the door changes. Shh! I remember seeing it placed conveniently under that orange cone you've got. On the counter, get it fast. Yay! Thanks so much. I'll treasure this forever and never, and tuck it in the bed at night or something. Hey, uh, do you got anything special in the back room? If you get my drift. Is he on or something? She didn't text her true crime forms, did she? Sure, it's like super easy for you to sneak in grass into a job like this, right? I'll uh, pay a lot. None of that, sorry. Man, I accidentally gave the rest of mine to a trick or treater. This sucks. Can I get some gummies? I'll just convince myself they're edibles. The only gummies they sell here are the sour brain worms, sir. Yeah, I'll take those instead. Can you go get it? I just want to hang out. Pretty strong stuff if just a bit made you act like this. You bet, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Is this nigga calling me ma'am? This nigga's calling me ma'am. Is it because I got the long hair? 30 seconds is not a lot of time. Here you go. 2799, please. Folks, this makes up for things. I bet I will. Happy Halloween, mask ma'am. Yeah. They must think I'm a girl because the long hair. That's kind of crazy. Phew. Starting to slow down. Should be able to check in on Pearl after this group clears up.
I'll be taking three of these, please. That's 1234, sir. Okay, got it. Oh, this is... What's her name's uh, boyfriend? Because the only reason I know that is because I looked this game up and I seen... I seen like a character reference sheet or whatever. And like, there was a note that said the number on this dude's jersey is like the same number the girl in the cheerleading outfit had on or something and look at him he's crying he's probably like where is my girlfriend i kind of spoiled myself on this but is what it is i know what's going on with you though what you must be thinking right now buying three boxes of chocolate man i must be on a cheat day or something but no 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 it's much worse you see my girl is mad at me oh no okay what i was thinking i was thinking that maybe he was like he had a tear on his face because like his girlfriend is missing and he got mad or sad, I mean. But bro is just sad because she's mad at him. Well, I have news for you. She's dead. Just look how cute she is. I don't know what to do, what I did to tick her off, but she didn't pick up any of my calls this morning. Oh no, there's a reason for that, buddy. We always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity flop. And on Halloween of all days, what about our outfit coordination? We need to decide that together on the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to piss her off. Whatever the crime, I hope that this will begin to show some of my remorse to Courtney. Well, I see her during class. If I cry in front of her, hopefully she'll take me back. Anyway, happy Halloween. Uh, I've stained at her door there. Is that a, is that time of the month? Uh, my bad. Uh, I need to talk to Pearl. Pearl, question for you. Oh my gosh, of course, anything I can do f to be of service to... This girl, you said her name was Courtney, right? Yep. Was she dating anyone? Uh, not yet. Or I guess never now, but she and Brandon were goo-goo for each other. Vomit including, if you ask me. Vomit inducing, I said including. Freaking mex me metrosexuals. I'm stupidly excited to see his face when he finds out though. But yes. I'm fairly certain I just saw him now. Oh my gosh, really? He's got really bad roots. Some of the most pathetic guys I've seen in my life. Big pink jacket. Oh uh, yeah, that tacky thing, as always. More concerningly, you saw blood leaking out from under the door. I played it off, but once he realizes she's actually missing, and I'll sweat it. He's far too numbskull to remember. Anyway, we've bonded now, gotten to know each other. I've helped you hide a body and all. Now you owe me, so. Oh, you? You begged me to let you help. You gotta come to one of our shows, okay? Please, you owe me. I gotta do it. Please, 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 please. To be completely honest, we need to focus on hiding the body. Hear it before you hear about it before you kill her look we can talk about it after we clean up this mess whatever i owe you then i owe you but there's bigger problems to be had right now okay glad we're on the same page tell me that's all then would you there that's all her limbs hacked off man man oh man Getting to see the gr the bare water grizzly killer work in person is such a good dream. Wait till Grunge Fan Fifty Four finds. Out. I, I mean, not that I would tell, of course, of course. Having our a special little secret between the two of us is more is far more special. What's far more special is not getting caught. Listen, I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. That's going to last. All the way into the evening. Afterwards, we're going to use your. Wait, wait, wait. I get to be a part of your plan? Yes, I mean, you're already a part of it, aren't you? Well, we're using that case to transport the body. It's Halloween, so props like that can pass without suspicion. Nice that you made it to. You made it work with your costume. Huh? Costume? This is how I always dress. My case has my baby in it, okay? Your baby? My guitar! Well, you can't just... Bim. Hey, hey, it's okay. 
I'll work on finding some new way to transport the body while you serve customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl. Uh, oh, yo, whatever. I'll be back. Please do. What you want, little nigga? Not a monster. This is a mess. I guess she be she should be scared though. Oh, in that case, why? <laughs> well, you calm down quick. Your voice sounds friendly. Kitty. Can you get some milk for me and my kitty? This last ingredient we need for our special Halloween potion. I want to turn my little my kitty into a great warrior. You didn't seem to do much to protect you just now. He's helpless. I'm sure the milk will help. I don't know where it is. Go get it. Help me, please. Sure do. That'll be 158. Okay, thank you. I'll go make my potion now. Damn, that nigga came out fast as hell. Can I use your bathroom, please? Thank you. Repeat that, could you? I need to pee. I urgently need to pee. Please let me pee. Let me get that key for you. Oh my god, thank you. Hurry. Uh, don't get too excited. Don't want to mess in this place. Have I seen this guy's face before? Wait, where's the key? Wait, what? Where's the key? Exit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I have to give him the key. Why am I giving him the key? Wait. Am I actually a female? Or am I a dude? I guess I'm a girl. They keep calling me a girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Halloween, thank you. He's gone. One more. There's no way she called the cops, man. Hello, officer, where can I get you? Shh, he's off the court. Happy Halloween. Yippee, yip. Yay, I love Halloween. I'm really getting into the spirit this year. I'm dressing up as something really spooky. A cop. Boo. Anything you need? This could all be a play. I really want to get into this costume. Want to get me a serial killer related tabloid pronto. A point at people and pe point at people in it and discuss their irredeemability. Won't that sell my costume? I'll get that tabloid for you. I can't believe I guessed right on the tablet. I thought I was trying to get it wrong. The grizzly killer, huh? I'll put him in jail. Happy Halloween. You fat ass nigga. Get the hell out of my store. This nigga, you're back? What are you doing? I would like to return this. These open box, these open boxes of chocolate? No, I don't think we can do that. Sir. But I couldn't even give them to my girl. She wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one had seen her. Ma'am, my girl is so bad at me. She doesn't want me to be around at all. How could I repair her broken heart? I'm so miserable. So do you hold it too? Not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going. Yo, my fault, bro. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Hey, Grizz. I blinged out this old box you had back there to. Oh, Brenda. Pearl, stupid. Uh. Stupid Pearl, I see that your band's really truly selling well. If this is where you ended up, we got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. At least I have a club. Seems like lame knees. Ditched you and your rat's nest of a haircut. Hey, whatever's going on between Curly and Courtney and I is none of your business, lame stain. Oh, lame knee, like as in Courtney, okay. Shouldn't be. 
shouldn't you be more worried about getting all that gross, uh, whatever that is off your boots? Hey, Branda, do you want to know what's on me? Because I pinky promise that you'll hate the answer. Let me phrase it as, who oh, is my lunch break? So you can go now. What? G good day, sir. Uh, geez, sorry, I'll get, I'll get out of here. See the look on his did you see the look on his face? Pathetic. What the hell is wrong with you? Telling him we killed his girlfriend right in front of his face. The body is right there. Right there. A few steps away. It's the middle of the day. He makes a fuss of things. It's over. We're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but you need to stop it. Get yourself together and actually do what I say. Okay. Because that's what you want to, right? For me to shut up and obey you to do what you want. Freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. Don't want her to freak out and cause more problems. Taking the time to at least try having a conversation with her is probably best. Completely blinked out and bedazzled. Yeah, or I guess that you disguised it pretty well. Right? He. <laughs> um. Sorry. Sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. I, it's just, you do understand why. Telling people you're hiding Courtney's body is right now is bad, right? Oh, that was, uh, that was. What's, what is our character's name? That was him saying that, or her saying that. Psh, duh. Grizz. Hey, Grizz, question for you. Hmm? You actually think we can hide Courtney's body? Because like maybe I'm wrong, and you're actually success successfully hitting a body body in the past. But given how every body of yours they they find seems to be a shoddier and shoddier attempt at hiding it, I don't think that's the case, right? And all of this extra work you're putting into dismembering her and stuff feels kind of desperate, almost. I think the truth is, you're pretty bad at hiding bodies. You can hide that it was you, I'm pretty sure, you're pretty good at managing to detach yourself from the peep problem at hand, but the problem at hand stays. And so, you're still here too. That's why your hatchet is nowhere to be found, right? No one is going to find Courtney's body, so don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. You know what you're doing far more than I do, so I'll trust. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why I've got... These. Bear traps. Or bear traps. Yep. From your case. From your case. Nah, I'm just keeping them here for a second convenience. I found them lying around in the back. Are they not yours? No, the manager is really into hunting. I see. Anyhow, I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. We gotta help them make use... <laughs> Yo, I can't read, bro. Oh my god. Anyhow, I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. We gotta help them make use of their life's purpose. As long as you're confident, you can tidy up all of them after the fact. Having all of these traps set up for seemingly no reason is not going to do us favors after the fact. Okay, doggy. Anyway, so like, there's this thing that's been really stressing me out. So I can't, so can I vent to you about it? And right back at it like nothing happened. Good for her. Sure, tell me about it while I set up the bear traps. Sure thing, boss. So like, there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forget if I mentioned that already, LOL. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, Amy is like honestly really mediocre at drums. That and she doesn't show up half the time. Uh huh. Pass me another trap. Yep, yep. 
And I heard from someone somewhere that when you're working in a creative field, you need to be two of three things, okay? Pleasant to work with, always on time, and absolutely amazing at what you do. And like, love her to death, but the only thing Amy's good at is making freaking amazing strawberry Romanoff. Like seriously, I'd kill for it. Uh huh. Pass me another one. Yep, yep. But basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her. But I don't have anyone else to ask to do it instead. And we can't be without a drummer. That's like lame. So I was thinking, after all this, since you have the arms for it, what if you wanted to do it? Uh -huh. Pass me another. Oh my god, really? I figured that I need to convince you, but this is so awesome. Hee <laughs> hee. Nope, sorry, I misspoke. Huh? I thought you said something else. You know, I can't be doing that. But you already said yes. And now I'm saying no. What the heck? I should have said no backsies first. Screw. Hello? Can I like buy this or something? Even though you totally just broke my heart. No worries. You go on and help him. I'll go set up more traps in the meantime. Right. Where's the damn... Where? Where is he at? He's not here. He's not in front of the damn... Oh, he's right here. Nigga, what the hell you want, bro? Why are you not at the front desk? Man, what you want, bro? I get this Red Dead Redemption eye, nigga. The fuck out my store, bro. Hey, how are you doing? I'm full. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing. Got me into this whole prairie girl right lifestyle. She even breaks bread for me and stuff. She's the perfect chick. She go you into the cowboy outfit for Halloween. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm an investment banker, but she wants me to be a bit more rough. And now my goddamn tires broke down. Help a guy out and fix some tire repair thingy for me, okay? I'll give you a bonus and everything. I know where that is. I think. Pretty sure that's right here. Tire repair. Got it. Yo, I got I got it for you. Here you go. 921, please. Keep the change. Man, maybe I'll drive for real. Maybe I'll drive real far away. Deep into the country with this thing. Am I late? Who am I kidding? I love money too much. Well, my girl's waiting. See you. Man, what you want, bruh? Hello. Benevolent service worker. How can I help you? Absolutely brilliant to see the masses participating in All Hallows Eve. Sure. How can I help you? Master Maiden... May you assist me with something nearly private? The truth is, I, I, can you give me a tabloid discussing the latest news on society's elite? On those that influence and define our cultural norms? A celeb tabloid? You want a pop star tabloid? We have plenty. I know that they are indicative of low culture, but the gorgeous bodies on display are most riveting melodies captive to me, cap captivate to me. I am the masses. We're not so different, you and I. I'm not so sure. Let me get that tablet for you. If I was good at doing the British accent, I would have gave him a British accent, but I'm not really good at that. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, chocolate cheese! Chocolate cheese! Chocolate cheese! Ha! I'm like that. Isn't that that piss guy from earlier today? This is the piss guy? Here you go. Enjoy your degenerate tabloid. Ah, your words are poison coil upon the parchment of my flesh. 984. And my wallet too. Goodbye. Are the voices dub are like are these W voices or not? Hi. Hello. Hey. What can I get you? Woohoo! You didn't say happy Halloween! We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. Your costumes seem to suggest otherwise. Well, we, we, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago, but we ate way too much candy. Can you believe that? All three of us threw up. What if it was that, guys? So now we hate Halloween, but we need your help to stop it. Give us water now. 
How will that end a centuries long tradition exactly? With replacing hollow, whatever that is, with something even more crucial to the human essence. That's right. Water wing. Humans need water, so we're starting water wing. Water, now. Water, okay. Water is literally all I drink, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it might be all I drink for 2024. Like, I'm like, I'm not even like lying to you, bro. Like, I literally, that's all I drink. Sometimes I drink some juice, but this year, nothing but water. Water wing will reign supreme. We need to, we need water to live. Water wing. 113, please. Pennies for the beginning of revolution. Water wing. Another nigga, bruh. I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What, buying, what, buying at a gas station? And you can't even be cordial about it? Give me info on missing people, okay? Did you make it disappear? Because you're a magician? I want to try and enjoy Halloween despite all the stuff going on in my life, okay? Please go fetch that tabloid for me, all right? I deserve to live a normal life. Luckily, I picked it up before. I probably would have not known it was right here. I would have been like, yo, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here, bruh. Get the hell out of my store. Same as always, no info to find. The rabbit to my magician. I'll pull you out of my hat soon enough. Is that it? It's raining, huh? Bummer for any trick-or-treaters, I guess. Uh. <laughs> What's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking, I freaking dropped Courtney. I mean, it seems like she's still inside. But so many of the jewels fell everywhere. All the little bedazzlements I painstakingly put on, they fell off. I'm so, uh. Don't patronize me. You are. So, uh, of course people only look at me when I mess up. You can't stand out in marching band. Just blare the wrong note, duh. And that aside, I mean, Wacky doesn't even begin to cover it. It's pretty weird for someone to want a, to help a serial killer, right? Pretty out of the ordinary to not be phased at all by a serial killer chopping up a classmate's body, bad blood or not, right? It, it's so, I'm so, uh. Not less mad, but got so upset she tired herself. I really thought for a while that if I actually tried to follow what other people said, I'd get the right kinds of eyes on me. It's really hard to think for yourself after all. When you make your own decisions, things go badly, the fault lies with you. So why didn't things turn out well? Why was everyone still getting mad at me? Why wasn't, or wasn't I doing what they asked? Why couldn't they just look at... Not that it matters anymore, anyhow. Hey, I have another question for you. Sure, sure. Where's your hatchet? You always killed with a hatchet. Even when your other little trademarks came and went, there was always, always a hatchet. I thought it was kind of odd that you hadn't been using it up until now, but figured Courtney took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just convenient. It's quicker to saw through bones with the actual saw and we're on a time crunch. But I feel like a little, it's a little too absent. I don't know. You don't have to answer me. Hell, I'm just some fangirl you met earlier this morning. But if I'm right on reason, your reasoning as to why you're not using the hatchet, hey, for real now, we're not going to actually succeed in hiding this body, are we? I don't think you ever thought you were going to, even on your own. Before this, all your killings were far, far from the city. That's probably how you've managed to get away with it all, right? Perfectly controlled. So in a situation like this, probably isn't ideal. You probably thought you could hide in the city, huh? So many people, and there's no one looking for a country bunkin' killer in concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all, huh? Per Pearl. I use the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with, that's all. There was nothing special about it, it was just a tool. But, well, like you said, it became a signature. It became recognizable. Isn't that the point of a whole lot of serial killers though? To have one so people know who you are? You're a symbol of all, for all freaks. There's like drama on forums about you guys getting way too much attention, really. 
No, I hate that shit. I prefer it if no one had found any of my bodies. With all due respect, but I never wanted to involve anyone else, especially not someone like you. Now that's supposed to mean someone so desperate to be found. I guess that's a little ironic then. We're in the middle of something. Don't show. Please give me a second. Welcome and whatever. How can I? Hi again. Sorry to bother you. I just uh, wanted to talk to Pearl if that was possible. She's, she's not here. Oh, is that the case? Uh huh. Listen, I'm kind of stressed, you know. I called Courtney's parents because we were chill and all, but they said that she left home early to get last minute costume supplies or something and just never came back. They assumed she decided to go straight to school after buying stuff, but uh, she didn't. No one's seen her at all. All day, no matter how much I ask. The only person that's so much as said a joke about seeing her is Pearl. So even though it's probably just a stretch, I gotta ask, you know. If you know where she went or whatever, that'd be great. Just being pointed in the right direction, please. Yo, yeah, beats me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, okay, that's... Thanks, anyways. Coming in that walkie-talkie I asked for earlier. It's me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help in the back, please? You freaking liar, huh? Let me through. Let's just all calm down, okay? I just want to talk to Pearl. It's no big deal, okay? Shit! I need to find something to do. I need to find something to do with him now. Damn, that frame perfect time, and I need to grab that. Pearl, are you? Let me see. <laughs> Look at Bro's face. Um, hi, C C Courtney. She, she, she's. Uh, yeah, deader than a doornail. I'm super sorry or something that this is how you found out, but like, hey, plenty of fish in the sea, right? I honestly wouldn't dwell on it too much. I'm gonna kill you. I'm seriously. For real going to kill you. I knew you were a sick freak, but... Hey, you you just tried to kill me, didn't you? Freaking jock types. You can't just make this easy, can you? You, 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 bitch! You, you think you, you, you're gonna stop me from, from, from getting out of here and, and calling the fucking cops? I'm the first pick quarterback. I'll have you know. You, you and... You did a court, Courtney. Fuck! Oh, shut up. God, I, I, I gotta get out of here. We can't let him get out of here. We can't let him get out. That's like soup's bad. I know that, Pearl. These kids. Wish. Oh, now I get to save, huh? Come here. Come here, little bro. Oh, this nigga's juking my. Sh hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm about to say. Oh, I can't run. You can run this whole time. I've been walking the whole time. Chat, I've been walking the whole time. I can't believe I clutched all those orders while walking. That's insane. Damn, he got away. What? He got away? Come here, little bro. Come here. Come here. Do I click him or what? Oh, I got him. Shit. Well, not enough. Seriously, you jug types. You freaking chuckle-headed pieces of shit. I guess so. He's slinking off now. Don't worry, he's not getting far at this point. Come on. <laughs> the, the door. No. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. This kid. This needs to open. It needs to. Listen, kid. Fuck off. It's really nothing personal. In fact, I preferred not to do this. But you and I both know you shouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. You wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. So this is how it's going to have to be. 
Yeah, Grizz, gonna kill you dead. Bro. Sorry, zipping off. You, t you too. You've gotta be Bucky. How can you act so so pretentious? You fucking killed my girlfriend. For what? All, all that people. I, like, like you guys are good at ruining lives. What the hell did she? Did she do wrong? Like for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? Did she say something to tick you off? Seriously, why'd she have to die? What you looking at? Th this thing. A hatchet? That's... <laughs> you don't like me grabbing a hold of this, do you? You too. You're weak enough, right? And I'm strong enough. If it's to avenge Courtney, I, I can... God, you won't shut up, will you? I'll just need to help you with that, I guess. But wait, her! Take this! Oh, I've gotta say, that was exceptionally stupid of you, Pearl. You bit me. Gross. Freaking got you, you freak! Hold on, it's music, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that music going crazy. Bro, quiz, was it? I I'll do it. I'll kill her. I'll do it. You know I will. I I have done it before. This and... Wait, hold on. Break it down? Oh, nah. This OST is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know I will. I've done it before this, and now that f this freak shows my girl, get over her. She's dead. She's been dead for hours now. You loser. Shut up. You. You freaking monster. Rude of me to assume that you actually care about her, right? She's a freak after all, even by your standards. Regardless, if you care about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... Whatever. What's it gonna be? Uh, what's this girl's name? I already forgot. We love her. common sense not to turn your back on a serial killer oh <laughs> wow we still win anyway stop please oh my god you did it you did it you what oh damn bear trap Listen, should I, should, I off, should I solve your foot? I can do it I, I, if I just close my eye. Shut up and listen to me, all right? No one knew you were here, right? You didn't tell anyone. No, but... And I don't think anyone saw you during my shift, okay? Take the keys, open the back door, then toss them under once you go. I can close up after you and... And leave you to die? I'm not going to die. I'm just stuck. But nothing. You can hide yourself easy. There's no one going to try to try and find out what they're not looking for. <laughs> My fault, bro. I've been doing this solo for years. It'd be weird to start now. But what about when they find you? I'll have to deal with being found, I guess. Now go. Go! Now! Back then, on that day, I couldn't make myself open my umbrella. It just kept coming down and down and down. I let the rain wash everything away. 
In that sense, I was probably being selfish. There wasn't anyone to, there to see me, but regardless, I couldn't use that as an umbrella to hide from the night sky. I needed it all gone. I needed the blood not just hidden, but got destroyed. Something, something. It's better to be hated than forgotten. I don't really agree with that, but it doesn't look like I have a choice in that anymore. Bad end. Uh, let's see what happens if we let him um wait, come here little nigga stupid ass nigga come here so let's do the other choice i guess i thought that was the good ending but it ended up being the bad ending so no keys you're fine with stupid pearl dying her name is pearl i can't believe i forgot her i forgot her name but of course i care about pearl dying right come on Whatever, do it. You think I won't? I will, I really will. Is that, is that so, then do it. See, I, I did it, I actually... Huh? One hand, one was hard enough, but three of them? I guess things always need to work out this way. Better get started then. The first time was on accident. The second and third were too. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, not so much. At some point I began to wonder if my capacity for it all was an endless. I held no ill will against these people. I did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I did not even kill them for any sort of reward. People kept dying by my hatchet because it was convenient. In the end, it wasn't even any sort of morality that caused me to stop killing. If you're realistic about it, it just doesn't pay well. It doesn't pay well. Miss, please come in. We're, we're very excited to interview you. Your application was very strong. Honestly, somewhat unrealistic, so haha. But we need all the help we can get around this season. And you seem wonderful. That being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule this for later. Why do I ask? You're wearing that medical mask after all. Uh, this, it isn't any of my business. They only end up asking around here a week into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon mentioned returning the chocolates he got. They mentioned Courtney in passing during questions. The only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster her bandmates put up. Bad end. What the hell? Two bad ends? So I guess the choices before actually mattered? Or is there no good endings? Dang. I wanted to get a good ending in this video, but I, I don't know. I guess there is just no good endings. I mean, there probably is, but I'd probably have to start the game all the way over. And this game is like an hour long. And this video is already an hour long. So another hour is probably not ideal. So, yeah. I'm done. This game is very cool. The artwork and art style are the best thing about this game, and it needed to be since it is a visual novel. But aside from that, the music is fire, the story is intriguing, the characters are all very likable. The weakest aspect about this game is definitely the gameplay, but that didn't really need to be too crazy considering it is a visual novel. Overall, very good game. It is free, so if you want to play it and try to get the other endings and game overs, be my guest. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. This video is the second time I've done a video in this style, so I hope y'all liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Click that sub button if you want to see more vids. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you in the next video, bruh.